So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a strawberry picture. So we're going to start off by drawing it out and you can either leave it as a drawing and color it using crayons, color pencils, or you can follow along with me and use paint. So I am going to use paint. I just have a little bit of a bunch of different colors. Um, if you have watercolor, you can use that anything that kind of has a bunch of colors because although it's mostly red and green we're going to have fun with this and use a lot of different uh, colors and values so first thing we have to draw in this strawberry so we're going to draw the strawberry on its side so go ahead and turn your page so it's horizontal just like this and we're going to have the curve the stem's going to be over here on the left the widest part and then it's going to come together closer so go ahead and draw in a large c shape on your paper this is going to be the top part of the strawberry once you have that you're going to draw it coming down and as it comes down you want it to get closer and closer if your strawberry comes off the page that is totally fine otherwise Mine comes very close to the edge of the paper. If yours goes off, that is fine too. So as you go to the right, it gets skinnier and skinnier. So it kind of looks like candy corn, right? Where it's wider on the one side and skinnier on the other. Now for the petals or the stem part of the strawberry so right here we're going to draw the leaves kind of like teardrop shapes and sometimes you're going to have different shaped leaves some are going to be bigger um, some are going to be smaller depending on how it grew so go ahead if you want a variety of different kind of leaf shapes go ahead and do that I'm going to draw some of mine bigger, some of mine smaller, and just kind of really fill in some of that space. I'm going to draw a little one right here. Okay, once you have that, you can give your strawberry some seeds. So they're kind of like eye shapes or football shapes and they're all pointing up and down from your strawberry so when you're drawing the seeds you want them to kind of go up and down so they're kind of longer and they're pointing side to side and I'm just going to kind of scatter my seeds all of the seeds are going to be exactly the same shape some of them are going to be different because in real life, nothing is the same exactly. It might look the same, but it's not when you look up close. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of fill in. Um, I'm just spreading them out until most of my strawberry has these seeds going through. And some of them are just half seeds, just drawn a half seed. Okay, and that's basically the shape of your strawberry. So now it's ready to paint. I'm gonna be using acrylic paint. Again, use whatever you have at home. Um, but we're gonna have some fun with the color. So I'm gonna start with the leaves and I'm going to go in with my darkest color and kind of just basically paint the outside of my leaves and then I'm going to go kind of thick on that stem area up here so just like when I draw I normally always cover my pencil lines first um, same thing when you're painting. 
I'm kind of covering them with the paint, making the outside a little bit darker. Okay, then I'm gonna add just a little bit towards the center with the dark green, just like that. Now I am gonna rinse my brush. I'm gonna grab a towel and dry off my brush. And I'm gonna go into my light green here. I'm gonna add some light green to my leaves. Some of them are gonna have more light green, some of them are gonna have less for variety. Okay, now that I have some green, rinse my brush, and I'm gonna go into my white. And using the white, I'm just kind of going over my whole leaf, really making sure it's painted in. Now I actually want the colors to blend. And if you notice, like if you painted some designs in your leaves and they're disappearing, that's fine. Let it dry a little bit, go back to it and put some of those back. But I actually want my leaves to be kind of blended and I want them all a little bit different. I want some of them to be more white, some of them to be more green. So I want it to look like that. And I'm gonna come back later and do some darker colors in there. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and add some pink, believe it or not, um, to my strawberries. So I'm gonna take this pink and just like I did with my leaves, I'm gonna go around. If you notice, my pink's kind of dirty. I did not clean my brush because I want it to actually have that mixture of color. Um, I don't want it to be super clean, but if you want yours to look really nice and clean, make sure you're washing your brush in between colors. I don't, so I'm just painting it because I like it when the colors from other areas kind of transition into each other. So that is why I am not cleaning my brush and I'm also the only person using my paint. So I do not have to worry about sharing. All right, so I'm just going in here and again, some areas are gonna be more bright pink than others. Some areas are gonna be darker. And if you notice, I'm not necessarily painting all the way to the seeds because I am going to use more colors in here. So if there's some white space, that's fine because I'm adding more color later because we never want to have white poking through. But because I'm still working, it won't be there forever. Okay, so I got a layer of pink. Now I'm gonna go in with my red and I'm really gonna dab this red kind of on the side and the top of my strawberry. And then now using the red, I'm gonna make sure that my seeds are surrounded to the shapes that I drew them. Making sure I didn't leave any white space making sure I'm covering the area. Going around my seeds, making sure there's no white paper showing. And if there is, I'm brushing it in. Okay, so this is not actually all the red I'm gonna do because I'm gonna hop back over to some purple and I'm actually gonna add some purple. Now the purple's gonna look really dark because of the pink and red that's already on my paper, but I do want some other colors, like I mentioned, to kind of blend in here. 
And I'm also going to add some purple to the bottom of my picture as a shadow. So I'm going to kind of come in here with this purple really heavily. I'm going to do the other side as well because I want that purple to kind of be lined up. So in between my leg leave and my area right there. Okay, all that's purple. And then I'm going to go in with some dark blue too. And this is going to be kind of like the shadow or the table of my picture. So I'm going to kind of blend this in. And I want to make sure they're about the same height on both sides. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to go in some more blue. Really darken this up. make it a different color. I want to stand out against my leaf, leaves and my strawberry. Not just one of them, all of them. Okay, there we go. So now we have kind of a table or a area which our strawberry is sitting on. So now that I still have color in my brush, I'm going to go back into my red. Kind of Darken again the top back here. Not too afraid of getting that dirty. Now they have some darker colors in my strawberry. I'm going to rinse my brush and go back into red. And again, if you don't have paint and you just want to do this with crayon or colored pencil, just don't be afraid of adding color. Okay, make it fun, make it unique, make it your own. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go into my yellow, kind of add my seeds now. And you can use a little white and yellow mix for this too. Okay, and I'm going really thick with this because I want them to stand up against my red strawberry. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into my leaves up here. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and some of the color that I had in my um, strawberry. I'm gonna add back here not to worry about rush, washing my brush, because I like, again, that color transition. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to my green and do the highlighting again to really make it stand out. And you, if you don't have two shades of green, you could do black for this. If you want it even bolder, so I'll add a little bit black in here and it really pops out then. Just like that. Okay, add some kind of like lines within my strawberry. There you go. And you can go back and layer as many colors as you want. So if you want some more red in here, go back into your red. You want some more pink, you can layer some more pink back. Really have fun with coloring in your project. 
And if it's super thick, that's okay. If you're using acrylic paint, that is totally fine if it's thick. That's part of the fun is with the acrylic, you can actually make it thick and it dries perfectly fine. If you're using watercolor, um, you can go over with the colors as many times as you want, but just be careful that if you start seeing those eraser-like marks on your paper, you've gone over it a little too many times because that is actually your paper starting to rip. Okay, so if you are using watercolor, just make sure that you're not going over it so many times that your paper starts to actually rip because eventually you will put a hole in your paper. But with acrylic, you can go over it two, three, five, whatever. Okay, so then there's the strawberry and then you can add any kind of design to the back that you want. I kind of like the white because there's so much color in my project, but what I'm actually going to do is kind of water down my paint and see if I can get some cool splatters for the back of my wall here. So to get this, basically what I do is I take my acrylic paint and I just dip it in water to thin out the color and then I splatter. Okay, and because where I am, I have stuff very close to me, so I'm putting my hand over this so that I don't splatter my wall or my windows because I am very, very close to a window and I don't want to get it all over. So I'm kind of holding my hand over the color as I'm splattering. And if you tap it like that, that's totally fine. Makes it even more unique. Okay, make sure you have a decent amount of water and just have fun. And there you go, there's your strawberry picture.